Hey everyone! I thought it would be fun to put some succulents in a glass terrarium. Join me! Wicked Amber Girl Gardening. Okay, so we're going to begin with a little bit of soil, not too much. And this is cactus and succulent mix, and it's dusty. So I'm going to kind of arrange it so that it's going up and down in like a smooth arc. And not necessarily full in the center. I'm really just worried about the edges at this point. Before I go any further, I have a pre-moistened paper towel. And I'm going to wipe out the dirt that has already gotten on the inside of the bowl and outside. Sheesh. Just to make this easier, I uh, put some sand in a baggie. Uh, I think it's going to be easier to kind of direct it where I want it to go. So we're not going to be focusing on the center of the bowl. We're focusing around the edge because what's in the center you can't see anyway. So I'm just going to pour just a little layer around the edge. You can do it thicker in some areas and not quite as much in others, whatever you like. Good. And then another layer of soil. Maybe if I do handfuls, it won't be quite so messy. Okay, so we had a little mess up where we thought we were videoing and we weren't and it's not a problem. Um, all I did was add another layer of soil and now I'm just firming it down with my hands so that soil on top, underneath and on top of the sand gives you this really pretty layered effect and it just kind of moves and floats. Whoopsie! Don't tip it too much obviously. So I'll just pack a little more soil on top of that, press it down and you don't need to worry about the roots of your plants. Our plants are going to be up a lot higher so they're really not going to interfere with all this that I'm kind of compacting down here anyway. And I think I'm going to keep adding soil and then we'll come back to this. All right, so I'm just using this rag again to sweep out the inside and make sure I don't have too much dust. Um, only because the dust will still be there when I put the next sand layer in and it won't be quite as pretty. I want that contrast. I want it to be really pretty. So I'm just once again drawing this, the soil up until I get it to a level that I like just based on looking at the sides. So we'll have this much soil in between our next for our first sand layer and our second sand layer. So here we go again. Okay, that's not working either. I'll just pour it into my hand. Maybe, there. Okay, maybe I want the sand to go down a little bit here, like swooping down. So I'm just going to peel that little bit of soil away. And then my finished product it'll look like the sand is kind of just moving in a little wave. You can see there. 
I've got to get some more sand. All right, here we go. I have Taylor Swift going through my head. In the middle of the night, my dream. All right, and another layer of soil. Man, lots of twigs in this mix. And then filling in the center. I'm not gonna do too much more than that because I'm not sure how much I'm gonna have to dig down in to get my plants where I want them. So let's grab some plants. Hey, okay, Evie's gonna choose the plants for me, so go ahead and choose one. <laughs> Let's choose this one. Okay. That is an Echeveria agavoides. Isn't he beautiful? Look at the side. Oh my golly. It's just so, so pretty. Good choice. Thank and you. then we want something maybe pink to go with it. So our options would be... I like this one or this one. That's pretty. Okay. You want to use those? Yeah. Those are pink moonstones. Look how cute. <laughs> Okay, good choice, set that aside. And then <clears throat> we want another color. We've got a green, we've got a pink. Let's find something blue and I don't have very much blue looking stuff right now. So I say, you wanna use this guy? Yeah, he's interesting. Okay. He is um, blue chalk sticks, but it's a miniature version um, called what? narrow leaf chalk sticks. Aren't they cute? Evie, that's great. I think those will be perfect. Okay, so we're going to start with the biggest one. Again, that's an Agavoides Echeveria. So I'm just going to give the pot a squeeze. And then this also gives you a chance to kind of check out the roots. Like, look, this little guy needed to come out of here anyway. And also a chance to kind of clean up anything that needed to be cleaned up, dead leaves or other such things. I'm actually just gonna massage his roots a little bit loose. He's not totally root bound and just a gentle little bit there to help him out when we get him down in the soil so his roots will keep growing outward. Okay, so also we need to kind of choose what we want the front of the pot to be based on our stripes. Is there one that you think is prettier, the way that it flows aside, Evie? What? Do you have any of these angles that looks prettier to you? Hmm. That's pretty good yeah, where we've got some movement prettier. in the stripes. So, We'll put him then kind of in the front, what will be the front left corner. And we don't have to plant him all the way down because we can add more soil after we get all of our plants in here. The biggest thing I'm trying to do is not get too close to the edge and disrupt um, where I have the sand. Okay, so he's in. The blue chalk sticks are going to be in the back because he's the tallest. And again, we've got good roots going on there. So I'm pretty pleased with this plant. Is 
a good thing our third plant is really small because there's not going to be much room for her in here. And don't worry if you get some soil on your plants or on their leaves. It's not a big deal. We can always go back and sweep them up later with a toothbrush or a paintbrush or whatever you have that you like to use to clean your succulents off with. Okay, and that leaves our itty bitty graptopetalum. I'm sorry, Pacophytum, pink moonstones. And because this is a clay pot and he's not necessarily gonna want to come out very easily, I'm gonna use just a regular old butter knife that I actually always keep on my potting bench. And just use that to loosen up whatever roots I have going on in here. I don't think I have a whole lot. Oops, I might have more than I thought. Dead leaf, get out of here. Okay, no, there's not too much. Perfect. So there they are, free and loose. And these are super delicate. <laughs> so maybe that wasn't the best choice for me to be bumbling around in here with, but I'm gonna give it my best. And if we lose a leaf or two, oh well, it happens. Oh my, Tilly's going bananas. There must be somebody outside that she wants to go play with. This is not easy one-handed, I can tell you that. Okay, there we go. I do want them aiming a little bit forward so that they're facing the glass. I don't want them laying on their side though. Okay, there they are, ish. Whoops, I've broken a leaf. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit more soil just by little scoops from the hand. And then we'll top dress with some different things. Okay, you can see here, I still have some root ball on the agavoides there. So I'm going to just sweep this extra soil around and then press it down and in. Or if that won't work, just start getting the other end of your paintbrush in there. It can do the work too. Okay, time for some top dress. Okay, so I think we're looking really, really good for now. Um, next is our top dress, and I thought it'd be fun to use some different sections of different things, starting with just a little bit of sheet moss. This was moss, and it is dead now. The color will stay, though, and it's super, super pretty. I like it to dress up arrangements. It's not bad about holding too much water or anything. And so I think it'll be nice in this arrangement especially. Just a little bit there. And then the majority of it I'm going to use these beautiful river stones. I think we'll be speeding this business up. Okay, we 
I just wanted to slow down so I could show you that I'm using my, um, I've been using the back end of the paintbrush to just try and um, get these rocks underneath these cute little pachyphytum just because they're delicate, number one. I don't want to break any of the, these little leaves off. And also, if you touch them accidentally, the powder coating comes off of the plant, which doesn't harm the plant. It just doesn't look very nice. And so um, I'm just making using this so that I don't have to use my hands too much. And let's speed this up again. Okay, and last, I think I'm going to use, this is um, just a aquarium gravel, but I like that it's that kind of brown neutral color. I like stuff that looks natural, but if that's not your thing, I, I say go for it. Use fluorescent green aquarium gravel, whatever you like. That's what you ought to use. And the same goes with the sands when you're down in the bottom um, making your layers. I mean, I really like the natural look of this natural color sand, but if you would like like a teal or a bright white or yellow, whatever your thing is, I say go for it. It's your arrangement. You're the one that's going to be looking at it. Make it yours. down in the Acavaria. Okay, so that's all right. I'm just gonna put more over here and just sweep them across. Not impossible, just a little bit more difficult, no problem. Oh, Tilly, she's fussing at somebody up there. What a crazy doggy. I think, oh, whoopsie. <laughs> Got a loose nut behind the wheel. That's you, Evie. It's okay. I'm gonna just use the brush end of the um, paintbrush to sweep dust and dirt off of here that I have accidentally gotten and using it to sweep out the aquarium gravel that I also got in there accidentally. For the final spin, I think I'm going to take this upstairs and show it to you in nicer lighting so you can really appreciate it. But I think it's darling. I love that um, my river stones kind of blend in with the pink moonstones. It's almost like the way lithops kind of blend in when you have gravel around them. Anyway, I'm pretty happy with this one. So here's the finished product. I think it's really, really cute. I love the way that this turned out. I'll spin it for you. So you can see um, our sand layers and our soil layers. They turned out pretty. Tilly, thanks for running around with your little feet. Our top dress, I really like the way that came out. Pretty much I'm completely thrilled with the whole thing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope it inspires you to do one of your own and make it your own. Use your own colors, use your own plants, and something that you can enjoy for a real long, a good long time. I think this will be um, these plants will be happy and healthy in here as long as you are careful and cautious not to overwater. These plants will be happy in here for at least a year. So you can take this, put it on your desk in your office, um, have it somewhere on a coffee table in your house. I think, or this would be an amazing gift to someone. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a great week, everyone. I'm all, I'm all, I'm all, I'm all,
Girl, be the bro, girl, be the bro, girl, be the bro.